Hello everyone, I'm heading down to Belper's latest game at home to Loughborough Dynamo in the uh, MPL Midlands League. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas and were able to kind of see all your friends and family. And hopefully you were able to do that with everything that's going on at the moment. So on to uh, onto the game today. Always seems to be entertaining games with Loughborough at the moment. They've been involved in quite a few high scoring games this season. And we've come off the back of a snatching a one all draw away at Histon last week. But we did miss two penalties, which is obviously frustrating, but that happens. About three points today, going into a very tough New Year's Day fixture away at Ilston. You know, three points today are would be a lovely Christmas present. Definitely, definitely not a cliche thing to say at all. Just one thing to mention though is I will be aware I am wearing my uh, uh, away kit because uh, I'll be supporting the. Uh, the Shelters No Home Kit campaign. So Belper will be wearing our, awake, our white away kit today. So I thought I'd show my support for that to uh, raise awareness and hopefully raise a bit of money for, you know, helping homeless people because the pandemic has been a very, very tough time for them. So, uh, you know, we need to kind of keep raising awareness about that and hopefully we can make a bit of a difference. So, yeah, so hope you hope you all had a lovely Christmas, as I say, and hopefully it'll be a good game. Get up! Center. What does it? Well, look, come on, go, go! Oh! 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 No. It's a great block. Come on, Del Pet! Come on! Hey! Good defending. Oh, oh! It's 10v9! 
That's good defending. Come on, Belper! Yes, over the ball. Come on! Do it! So full time, Belper 2, Loughborough 1, absolutely frenetic game, wet, wild, you know, it always seems to rain at Belper games now, so. but you know, that made it made it more entertaining in the second half and we come away with a really hard fought three points. First half I thought, yeah, pretty even, they probably shaved it in terms of clear cut chances, disappointing to concede that goal from a, from a free kick just before half time, but you know, we went into the break and uh, I think Loughborough second half, looked like they were coming out to kind of protect what they had and uh, which you know it was going all right for them until uh, Simpson got himself sent off and I don't think there's any uh, other way I can describe that he uh, he bought it, bought it upon himself with you know abusive language so uh, I think you know he yeah I think he'll be he'll be disappointed in himself really and that given he was their best defender up until that point so that kind of gave us a window of opportunity you know we pressed we got the penalty uh, you know Maybe a little bit soft, but you know you gotta gotta take the conditions into account. There'll be there'll be times this season when we don't get penalties like that, and the opposition do. So I think you take the rough with the smooth. Margits <laughs> with the Penenka, I think you've got to admire the bottle. You know, having missed, he's missed a few this season. So you know, to come up with a Penenka as good as that, it really shows bottle and character, which is what you want from your top goal scorer. Then you know, I think. Uh, and then we had a, we had a sending off on the halfway. I see my, as I said on the thing, my glasses were, uh, had loads of water, so I couldn't really see. So I think, you know, my first reaction was yellow, but I think I was probably a bit far away to see it properly. So, uh, yeah, we'll see on that one. But we really, we really dug in. We really scrapped for that victory. Johnny Margits with a bit of magic from the free kick. Nathan Curtis's run before it needs a shout out as well. Because that's what, that's what you get from Nathan Curtis. You, you can go on those wonderful runs, and you know conditions like this were uh, where that kind of came into account, really. And you know, we got and we saw the game out really well, which is not easy when it finishes ten against nine. As uh, yeah, there, there, I got a second yellow card. You know, bring, I think it was Harry Good bringing him down when he was clean through. So, uh, but we saw it out really well. Bodies on the line. We showed how much we wanted to win the game. You know, and I think that win is just really hard fought, really gritty, really determined. And I think it's a mindset thing as well because I think they came out look for a hot you saw at the start of the second half, you know, absolutely like pathetic stuff like running into the centre circle to try and delay the delay the second half kickoff. So I think their mindset was defensive. Ours was, you know, we're gonna go and win this game in those conditions where, you know, the bounce of the ball, it comes into comes into it like you've gotta kind of go gotta keep your head on but go hell for leather. I know that sounds oxymoronic, but you've got to kind of be positive in your approach and I thought we were and I think that's what made the difference today obviously a wonderful free kick as well so yeah excellent game really important win going ahead to Wilkeston the players can be proud of what they did today and you've got to go and make sure we replicate that on a plastic pitch so I don't think it'll be quite as muddy as it was today up at, up at Elston but uh, hopefully we can get the same result thanks ever so much for watching as I say again I hope you had a good Christmas and Happy New Year and uh Hopefully all being well. I'll see you on New Year's Day, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens with you know COVID and stuff. So yeah, nice one. Take care. Thanks for watching.